this is my bread and butter one. This is Caterpillar. Okay. So we'll move these mats off. Again. Oh, just one other thing. Given we've got right-handers and left-handers, I've come up with this notion that that's 11 o'clock and that's 1 o'clock. That way you don't have to say, oh, for the right-handers we're doing that. So it's 11. So we're playing 11 o'clock for this caterpillar. Um, and I'm going to tell you now, one of the, pers one of the four persons, Bino, I'm going to get you to do the example of caterpillar because he, he knows its value. Uh, Byron, I'm going to get you to do it. Ian, you haven't had a go, have you? And uh, Gary, Lasky. Where are you, guys? Yeah. You'll be the four. You'll need to borrow someone's bowls, mate. Four, four bowls. Whose bowls are these? That's the right. notion here is can you put your other three bowls... Now, we're going to get the demonstrators first. Can you put your other three bowls within mat length of the first one. Whose bowls are these? So we're going to get our two demonstrators backhand yet. Yeah? Um, this is yours actually. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Come on, go for it. I'm handing over to Danny now to make the observations for you. Yep. So this is all about, uh, one about the discipline. Can they repeat the same bowl? Are they aware of what their body feels like? Um, and in this case, can they, can they get within a mat length or a half of a mat width of their last bowl? And the idea, it's called a caterpillar because when you do it perfectly, you've got four bowls lined up that look like a caterpillar. Yeah, got them. Uh, and one of the things we're really concentrating here on is, is more weight necessary. So two beautiful bowls there weight-wise. Um, so it's about rhythm and discipline. And if they, by chance, happen to leave a bowl short, do they have the discipline to accept that that's not good enough? And will they go up, and with the penalty of having to walk those 20 or 30 metres and go and pick their bowl up and go back and do it again? Because um, when we talk about pennant, what do we talk about that kills us? Short bowls. Get that out of it. So anything that's behind your original bowl is OK. Um, ideally, you'd like them within that mat length or half mat length. But anything that's short, especially by a metre, um, it's just not good enough. Now, the, the difference in a metre, though, it's only two revolutions of the bowl, but it's that mindset of accepting that something that's a metre short um, is not the standard that we're aiming for. So good, he's reached ahead and, and got behind. Yeah, good man. But I want you two to go and get it. Yep. So that we can we can highlight. Is that alright? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell Danny. I'll tell Danny. Hold on. <laughs> the two guys this side, if they roll short, I'm not going to go and get the okay. big two guys outside. Ah, okay, good. Is that on purpose? Well what are they? I don't know. Yep. Uh, the other thing worth noting here is how we're on um, ditch numbers, uh, ditch rink, uh, rink markers and, and the, the uh, rink markers. Um, so in a game here, in a, uh, a practice session, you can have 16 players across the rink all playing the same side of the green 
without anybody getting in each other's way. Yeah, well, <laughs> he's going to build a caterpillar in the ditch, isn't he? Oh. Notice the players coming up and picking up their short balls. Oh. Pino. <laughs> Need the exercise, Pino, do? And then the ones who don't, um, and then we, we designed that one. So, um, and it's all about what the mindset of your players are. And, and also for you as coaches, how do you encourage that better performance and, and get them to, to rise their, their skill level? And, and you contribute an awful lot by that excitement that you bring to the party. Um, and it's all about getting them out there on the green and, and wanting to be better. And this is just a simple warm-up drill to achieve that. Good one. All done. Yep, perfect. All done. Yep, yep. perfect. Squeeze ball. Yep. Uh, and as you can, you can get excited simply about putting four bowls close together. You know. That, uh, as I said, that caterpillar, and a, a number of you have either been at clubs that I've been at or have run things at your club, I'm sure that was just about the core ingredient to show you before we even got into game-related stuff. Because if you can't do that, or you can't get your players to do it, remembering you're here primarily as coaches, they're not going to convince me they can bowl. And they're not going to convince you. We are allowed to make mistakes, but what you don't want and it will happen, but it happens in lower grades, is that's the good bowl, and that's the next bowl. That's the good bowl, that's the next bowl. You're the skipper and you think, gosh, am I gonna get the good one or the really crappy one? And what Caterpillar hopefully might do is bring that range closer. 